G'day everyone, I'm an Aussie vet from Down Under. I've been uh, fighting a good fight with mental health issues for the past decade, uh, particularly military related PTSD, depression and anxiety. I use a uh, combined approach, firstly to look after myself, and when I get that under control, then extend that to a broader community around me. In the first instance, I adopt a concept called SHRED, which is looking after my sleep, find it absolutely critical, trying to maintain a sense of humour, even when I'm feeling low, um, and looking for ways to get that humour picked back up. Routine is essential in terms of everything from going to bed at the right time, waking up at the right time, and organising key activities during the day. Um, exercise. I have found a life changer. Starting off just with simple activities, going for walks, building up to getting back in the gym and uh, smashing it out on some weights or some cardio. Uh, the last one in that is diet and making sure that I get the right food into my system um, that's going to help me get the energy I need to get through my day, especially with some of the medications that I've been on. Pushing out from that, looking at building a team. In that team, I've got you know, close family and friends who understand where I'm at and support me. I've got a counsellor, psychologist, who helps check under the hood and uh, make sure the spark plug's still working. I've got a uh, psychiatrist that makes sure that I get the meds that I need and is constantly updating on how they're going. A physiotherapist, it helps look after my body and make sure that I don't do stupid stuff so I can keep coming back. The aim is uh, consistency here. I also then have a dietitian who makes sure and educates me as to the foods that I should be uh, best consuming to get the maximum energy out of my body and engage with my day. The key here is also to have an evacuation plan. Uh, as part of that, what I mean by that is Sometimes, despite best efforts, I start moving down a path of suicidal ideation. I start thinking about ways of escaping or killing myself, and that is freaking annoying. So I practice all the mindful te mindfulness techniques and breathing and meditation, but sometimes it just it's coming too hard, coming too fast, and I need to look for a way to get out. What I do is have a couple of different medications that I can use on an, as a required basis to help switch my brain off and get some sleep, write it out, then re-engage. If that's not going too well, then I've got some emergency contacts who can support me, and if need may be, get me into a safe place in a hospital where I can decompress under the close watchful eye of professional nurses and carers. Um, that's happened quite a few times, especially as I was adjusting medications and trying to work out how to get the best balance back in their life. Now, none of this is easy and it's constantly moving and it's a, almost a full-time bloody job to uh, <laughs> get all that in place and sometimes I slip. But I write these down, things down as a constant reminder to uh, keep me in focus I employ fortitude where I need to with an aim of moving towards connection and compassion. And that'd be my guiding principles. I know there's a lot of information in four minutes. Wish you guys all the best of luck. Cheers.